guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mariluz. Today we're going to talk about filling in eyebrows. I know. I'm going to show you step by step on how to go from this to this. So if you're ready, just keep on watching. guys so before we start you're gonna need a few items the first item is gonna be an obvious choice and it's gonna be the brow pencil I have a brow crayon if you will it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's the brow wiz in the shade Ebony um, you always want to have at least one shade lighter than your brow hair so it looks the most natural I do prefer the brow wiz over a pencil because you don't have to sharp it all the time it always comes sharp and it's retractable but if you do have a brow pencil don't forget to sharpen it before you do this so the next item that you're going to need is a spoolie my brow pencil or my brow wiz includes a spoolie in it on the back of it but if you don't have a crayon or a pencil that does include this spoolie, you might want to get one because with this spoolie, you're going to brush the product up so it looks the most natural on your eyebrows. The next item that you're going to need is a concealer. And I use my Tarte Shape Take Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. You want to use a concealer because you want to clean the edges out so it looks very sharp and very clean. Now the next item that you're going to need is a brush. And I use a small angle brush from Sigma. This one is the E65. I like it because it has a sharp angle and it helps me go really precise you know, on the line when I'm trying to clean it with the concealer. The last item that you might need is a concealer brush. This one is really optional. You can use any type of brush. I use a concealer brush because I just have it, um, but if you don't have a concealer brush, you can use any brush. It's just to blend in the edges after you use the angle brush to um, put on the concealer. And now that you have all the items set up, we are going to start filling in the brows. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spoolie and I'm going to clean or brush my brows upward to reveal the actual shape at the bottom. And I'm going to take the brow wiz and I'm going to do a line. I'm going to do just a straight line. You don't want to curve it. And you want to start from a little bit further from the edge, from the starting point. Uh, up to the arch. And then after I do that, I'm going to take this fully and I'm going to brush it upwards. That makes sure that my brows looks filled, but it doesn't look like a straight line at the bottom. Now again, I'm going to take the brow pencil and I'm going to do another line from the arch to the tail right here. And that'll be a straight line too. And I'm going to end right to the last hair of my tail. And then I'm going to take this fully again and I'm going to brush those upward. You want to make sure that you still have product on your brows, but they don't look like a straight line. You know, it looks natural. So once I do that, I'm going to brush my brow hairs downward this way. I don't do this often. Sometimes I just do the line without brushing my hairs, but I feel like it's easier for me to show you if I brush them downward. And I'm going to start at the arch to the bottom of the tail. Now I don't go all the way down to the tail. I go like mid, midway, um, just because I only, I want the tail to be really thin. That's just preference. You can do whatever you will like. And then I'm gonna fill in everything else. And then once I do that, I'm going to start mid-brow to the arch and do another line. Just so they look more complete. And then fill everything in. And after I do that, I brush them again. And this time I kind of brush them like upwards, but at the same time sideways. Because I want to see if there's anything else that I need to fill in. 
At this point, they look okay, but I would like to fill them in a little bit more here because I have a bald spot here. And I'm just being really, really gentle. I'm not pressing too hard because the more I press, the more product or the darker the product looks on my brows. And that's it. So after I'm happy with how it looks like, I'm going to take my concealer with the angle brush that I show you guys. I'm going to put just a little bit on it, not much, just like little touches. Very similar like I did with the beginning, but I'm going to start way over the edge. You want to be careful because you don't want to like touch your hair is that much because then it will ruin your brows so you have to be really steady really careful when you're cleaning your brows and then we're going to curve it a little, little bit here and roll it up all the way down to the tip and there you go now obviously it looks kind of weird right now but what we're going to do is we're going to clean it up a little bit more and then we're going to start blending it down into your eyes. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to take your concealer brush or any type of brush and you're going to start blending that down. Make sure you blend the edge here really well. And that is it. After that, you can complete the other one. You can start your eye look, you know, put more concealer on your eyelid. Basically, the world is your oyster. Now, in my opinion, I don't like to clean up, you know, up the brow because I feel like then it goes from natural brows to more Instagram brows and I don't like that look that much it looked too fake for my taste now if you think you need to clean them more you can do you know take the same principles and use the angle brush with some concealer and clean the edges right over here it's up to you I really don't feel like I need it because I always try to keep my brows clean and in shape before I even do this step Okay, so now I did my two brows. How they looking? Huh? Huh? Sepsy? <laughs> I hope so. Anyways, after this, you can create your eye look. I did prime my eyes with some concealer and I did put some translucent powder to set them up. But that's about it. Okay, so for those of you who are thinking, great, I mean, she already has bushy eyebrows, really in shape, whatever. Um, I do have a, a video for you guys. I'll put it in the description box below. I do know it was easy for me because I already have a little nice shape and you know, I already have thick brows. Um, if you do have thick brows, you could probably, instead of doing a curve, you can do a line or you can, you can try to shape them with your brow pencil. But if you think that feeling your brows is too far away from what you want to achieve, you could probably train your brows to grow the shape that you like using a stencil. I don't use them that often anymore because what I do is like I fill them in and once they're filled in, if I need to clean them a little bit, I'll do that. But you know, I won't take it off before I clean them, if you know what I mean. That way I stay true to the shape that I want to achieve. Um, but if you if you really need to shape them, um, I have the, the video down below, so check it out. It's an old video, but it still works. <laughs> So I hope that helps you out. Now before I finish this video, I want to say thank you for 100 and plus subscribers. I think at this time it's like 102. So thank you so much to each and every one of you. Thank you for the support. I really, really appreciate it. I hope we keep growing and, you know, keep having fun and including more people to our family. I'm trying to put together a giveaway just to show my appreciation, so stay tuned. Now, if this video helped you in any shape or form, please give me a thumbs up, it'll help me out. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit the bell notification button so you know every time I post a video. That is it for today. I love you guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.